Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack and today I just want to provide a bit of an update to the channel and what I've been up to lately and also the direction that I want to um, take this channel towards. So I think first of all, I want to have a bit more variety on this channel. So I think up until I guess now I've been mostly really focused just on like, you know, blind solving and tips on improving at blind solving and all of that. But I think I've come to realize that I think including not just YouTube, but like my other um, platforms as well, like Instagram and I guess TikTok as well. Um, yeah, I think my audience has become a bit more broad. So I think I want to make, you know, more content aside from just content focused just around solving the cube quickly as, as quickly as possible blindfolded. Um, I've also haven't really been practicing much cubing like at all lately. Like my blind solving practice went from like, I think 30 minutes to an hour a day to like virtually zero. <laughs> um, so I think that might have to do with the fact that there have been many competitions around, but maybe also the fact that I've kind of peaked in um, three blind already and haven't been as interested in the other events. So um, yeah, there's that. Also, I kind of feel like there's a bit more creativity like welling inside of me that I haven't really outputted yet. That's a bit of a weird way to put it. Um, so I'd like to explore that a bit more. So more automaton playing and just all around and stuff because I have a lot of ideas like in the back of my head but I think because I was really focused just on this like you know one area I've kind of um it's greatly limited the amount of this I guess creativity that you see in like these YouTube videos and I guess my other platforms as well so yeah I, I really want to explore that a bit more and see what I can do because I have some really cool ideas in the back of my mind that I really want to try out um, second thing is that I've been looking for ways to um, monetize cubing a bit more. So for those that don't know or are new to the channel, I am currently in my last year of university. So I'm just finishing off my Bachelor of Music. I played the violin and I'm okay at that. Um, but yeah, cubing's like more fun to put it bluntly. I'm sorry if my violin teacher's watching this or anything. Um, so I like to spend more time doing, you know, cubing related stuff after university. So I think I've been looking into ways to like monetize cubing. I mean, like, I guess there's this like YouTube channel and like the ad revenue I get from that, but it's not really much at all, to be honest. I mean, like, it's still pretty nice to look at like, you know, random this money coming out just for making YouTube videos. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I do want to test out some other avenues. So for example, like maybe Patreon, like a merch store. I don't know if anyone would be interested in those, but feel free to let me know. Um, obviously I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for blind solving. Actually, I haven't told anyone this yet, ex outside of like um, one of my platforms, but I actually made an online course teaching people how to solve the Rubik's Cube, just like normally. Um, reason being is that I think there are a lot of like online, f like free tutorials on YouTube already and a bunch of like, you know, online platforms like Udemy, so, but I didn't really see anyone have their own, like, you know, online course platform before, and I'm guessing it's probably, like, a market of people that are going to buy, you know, more high-tier stuff, like, I don't know, Apple and Gan. so I figured I'd give it a shot, and I think it's where I, I might experiment with putting more, I guess, long-form content, because last time I checked, like, my, for example, my three-blind tutorial, um, I think each part was, like, 27 minutes long, but the average watch time was, like, four minutes, so... I feel like on YouTube, I tend to lean towards making more short-term content because um, people tend to engage with those more. So, but I think in terms of like making some more in-depth stuff, that's kind of the route I want to check out a bit more. So who knows? I could maybe make this, you know, three blind full on like course, like several hours long and I go through like every single album in three style or something. But yeah, I don't really know. Um, once again, I try to want to be a bit more transparent with you guys. So let me know if there's anything in particular that you'd be interested in. Um, of course, I'll still make stuff on YouTube, but um, I think I'm trying to make the um, content sort of centered around what people kind of watch more of, um, sort of relative to the length of the video. Even though this video is probably going to end up being well over like 10 minutes at this rate, because I barely covered um, what I wanted to cover. Okay, so anyway, just more variety um, and just looking to um, make some cheeky um, bank off cubing pretty much. Um, also explains why I decided to partner with Rubik's because um, they're like a pretty big company and also looks like they have some, you know, cool stuff planned. Anyway, the last thing um, I want to do is have a bit more of a more meaningful impact. So maybe not just in speed cubing, but like, like specifically in the speed cubing community, but maybe for like, I don't know, a wider audience. Um, so not just 
you know, turning stuff quickly and, you know, random finger trick stuff to like beats of musics. Um, I don't know, something a bit more, I don't even know where I'm going with this, to be honest. Maybe it's just trying to inspire people and educate people a bit more about cubing. I'm not really too sure once again, but I don't know, something I want to pursue. So this sounds really vague, but I just want to get all this out there. But yeah, I think in general, appealing to like a wider audience perhaps, and also, um, what else did I write down? Sorry, I have like a bad memory. Um, yeah, more consistent content. Yeah, my content's been pretty like sporadic. And sometimes when I get really caught up in like one thing, I just neglect everything else. Like I remember when I was doing my Road to Multipline series, like for example, like I remember just not caring about much at all aside from just getting like a multipline down like every day. And um, yeah, I tend to get tunnel vision sometimes. I think the same thing happened with the online course. Like I focused so much time making like, it was literally only like 30 minutes long in terms of the actual video content, but I spent like three hours making the entire thing, including the website. See, so yeah, I've got to be a bit more careful not to get too caught up in one thing and to not neglect my other platforms. And I think maybe just have a bit more of a schedule, like not exactly like, you know, post this video at exactly 7 p.m. Although I could look into doing that. Um, maybe have more consistent live streams because for those that follow me on Instagram, I do those like really <laughs> spontaneously. And lately I'm not at all because I've been focused on this thing. Um, I don't know I mentioned this before already, but um, once again, I have a bad memory when it comes to this kind of stuff. I need to try to practice maybe using images to like, remember like um, my speech. I just have like notes on my laptop right now, um, but I wonder if I can use three blind images to like remind myself of like what I'm about to say next, because I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, just more transparent. So just show more stuff aside from like, you know, just cubing. I don't want to be known as just this random, you know, robotic, superhuman Asian um, alien that can solve Rubik's Cube's blindfold quickly. Um, I'd like to be known for maybe a bit more than that. So I don't know, stuff out of cubing, like, like for example, I'd spent like a lot of the first half of the year learning um, Japanese, but I already revealed myself learning, like speaking it in like this very small segment of my 10,000 subscriber um, special video. Um, I'll chuck a link somewhere. Um, and that, for that, I made like this script and I had like my Japanese tutor like read out the whole thing. And I like mimicked his like accent as well as I could. And I practiced like each like line like I don't know ten times or something like I was I went like really hardcore like once again this is this whole tunnel vision thing in action. Um, the other thing I did that was similar a while ago was me doing um, one handed push ups while doing a Rubik's cube blindfolded. Um, like I just didn't really tell anyone about that. I just dedicated my workout program to like just doing one hand push ups for like an entire year or something. And then I made the video and then I got depressed because my form was bad. I don't know my mind operates in weird ways, but. Um, I do think I can um, do things a bit more consistently and try not to like neglect the other areas and um, yeah I just want to be a bit more transparent with that um, about that with you guys yeah this is also kind of unrelated as well but yeah I think I need to practice speaking a bit more slowly and clearly as well which I think I'm doing right now because I just reminded myself of doing it just now as well um, cause I noticed myself overcompensating by doing, you know, the famous Jack Kai karate chops. So yeah, I think in general, sorry if this sounds kind of rambly, like, I think I just want to make more varied content. I'm looking for ways to monetize cubing. So I'm going to be exploring that as well. Feel free to let me know if you have any, um, suggestions in regards to that and yeah, just have a more meaningful impact, um, through cubing and maybe through other means combined with cubing. I'm not really too sure. That's pretty much it. Um, have a great day and goodbye.